Hello everyone, Miss Gretchen with Rubies and Moonstones. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you like it here and will consider subscribing. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. I really do greatly appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so very much. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am going to share with you the entire process of completing this diamond painting with you. Um, it is going, I'm going to show you different sections of time while I worked on it, as well as putting a post review at the end. And this is a diamond painting that I did receive from ArtDot. Thank you, Art Dot, for sending me this diamond painting to unbox, complete, and review with my viewers. I very much appreciate the opportunity to do that. Um, so I am an affiliate with Art Dot. That means I do have a coupon code that you can use to receive 10% off, which is Ruby, R-U-B-I. I also have an affiliate link that I will put in the description box that you can use as well. And those are through Art Dot's website. Um, please know that if you do choose to use that coupon code that I may receive a small commission. However, anything that I might receive from that will go directly back into my channel and creating content for you. And I would greatly appreciate anything that I may receive in that manner. However, please don't feel obligated to use that code. If there is a better coupon code out there for you to use to save, um, please, by all means, do what is best for you. So Art Dot sent me this diamond painting and it is called Sunflowers in Twilight. And I already completed an unboxing of it, so I'm not going to go over a lot of the details here as this video is all about the different steps in completing it. Um, however, I will just point out, as you can see here, it says beginner, advanced, and pro. So they sent me the advanced kit and it is 50 by 35 centimeters or 20 by 14 inches. There are 40 total colors in it and three of those are ABs and it is a round drilled canvas. So at this point, let's just go ahead and see what it was like to kit up this beautiful painting. So today I am starting something that's going to be a little bit different than what I've done so far, which is I am going to just kind of show you different steps along the way in the process of completing Sunflowers in Twilight, uh, which is an art dot diamond painting kit. And so as you can see, I've taken off all of the stickers. I did make a photocopy. I always did make a photocopy to begin with, just in case I ever need this in the future. And then I store this in my logbook. Um, but I, I will also put this sticker in my logbook when I'm done. This goes in my logbook for now as a work in progress section. And then I keep the sticker picture in the back of my uh, container that has all of my diamonds in it for reference. So one of the things that I really did want to actually point out as I have been going through this now, I also should point out that this is not an actual art dot container. I do own one and it is very similar to this with these uh, round vials and all that good stuff. Um, but just the design is a little bit different on the outside. Otherwise it is very similar. And just because this does have a smaller number of drills than some of the kits that I usually use, I thought that using the round vials, and I actually really love the round vials. They're so easy to pour and I just, I love them. Um, so I thought that I would use this for the kit up process. And just with the fact that it is very similar to Art Dot's own styles. Um, a couple of things that I have noticed now, I am not, someone who knows if these are acrylic or resin drills just by looking at them. So I'm going to have to reach out to Art Dot and ask. Um, however, there is one huge thing. Look at how, okay. This is a really full bag, as you can see. And I am going to pull her into the container. And all of them fit in this container. They didn't spill out or anything. Um, okay, 
So back to my first thought. That's something that I'm going to talk about in a second, but I wanted to point that out while I had one. So I'm wondering if these are acrylic just because um, I have had absolutely no static with them whatsoever. So I have my dryer sheets out. I have my Q-tip and my isopropyl alcohol. I'm ready to go to deal with static because I'm doing a kit up process. I have not needed to use it. So I don't know if it's something about Art Dots drills. Um, well, there's three of these bags. Or if it is because maybe these are acrylic and some other diamonds I usually work with are resin. I don't know. I'm going to have to reach out to Art Dot and ask them if their drills are resin or if they are acrylic. And I will insert whatever their answer is um, up at the top. So. Uh, but one thing that has been great is no matter how full one of these baggies is, it fits into these little containers perfectly. So if you do have an art dot storage system or just one that is very similar to the ones that they sell, at any time that I am cutting open a bag that is incredibly full, I have not had to worry about that little baggie overflowing. Um, and so that has been a really, really nice comfort as well. Um, sometimes with other bags, when they come in a variety of sizes, you don't know if they're all going to fit in a little container or not. So I think I can fit another one of these. So they have three bags of this, but it looks like they should all fit. Or at least two should fit. Oops. Okay, so I'll probably stop there. And I know that I haven't done um, like how I kit up with you. So one thing that I do is in this case, because I do have an extra bag, I am going to put a little piece of washi tape on the bottom because this is going to indicate to me when I start running low on this color that I have more um, and so when I do I put this in my container over here I'll bring this over and then in the back I have one of these plastic Ziploc baggies and I am just going to slide the extra bag in there now with some kits when I have a lot of bags I will open all of these and put them into another baggie so that I don't have a whole bunch of these. Um, it's kind of an extra stuff that's maybe not necessary. In this case so far I just have three bags from this kit. So that is how I'm going to do it with this one. But like I said with some other kits I usually open them up and then I label a baggie indicating what they are all are and then that way I don't have to go and look for scissors when it's time to open up another bag in fact this is one that I just happen to have right next to me it's astronomer and so I have a really large bag of extra drills and because there are just so many bags that I had to open I get a small baggie, label it with the DMC code, and then I'll go ahead and open up all of the uh, baggies that they come in. Um, and especially because these had a lot of static, so then I de-static them. And I also put uh, dryer sheets in here as well, so I can shake it up and try and make sure that they are de static before I actually work with them. So that's another reason why I usually put them into these extra baggies. It is an extra step um, depending on the amount. So here's a small one. I have various different sizes of baggies to use. This is the largest one I have and the only time so far I've had to use one this big. But anyway, so that's how I actually usually do it. But with this art dot kit, that step seems really unnecessary um, because there's no static. So if there's no static, then yes, I'm going to have to make sure I can find some scissors 
but besides that I usually have scissors right next to my table um, but for some reason those seem to go missing every once in a while like when, whenever you need scissors they just disappear um, so but I, I usually have scissors so I'm hoping that won't be an issue with these and since I'm not having to de-static any of them I don't have to worry about putting in dryer sheets or doing that alcohol thing so okay um, so that's a lot of talking already on the kitting up process I also think that with these I think I am going to go back and line them up by number and letter so when I get done with that I think I'm going to arrange them in that order just because they don't have that first number they don't have a number in front of them that says you know this is number one two three four five etc uh, I think that it might be easier for me to find I don't usually do it that way so I guess we'll see but okay well before I make some mistakes because I am talking I am going to go ahead and stop and I will check back in with you in a little while to let you know how it is going. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, just thought I would do a little video to show you my progress so far. Um, got this sky pretty much completed here, and now I'm going to be doing the sunset area just because there's this is the biggest multi-placing type of area that should go pretty quick. Um, so I have cut these sections and this is not the most perfect cover minder um, so I can pull down each of these sections and then just kind of work my way across and that way I can use my large multi-placer and go all the way across um, so that is my plan I have run into where the plastic sticks pretty strongly to the canvas but I would rather have the plastic stick really strongly than not stick strongly enough this is such sticky glue um, the only other issue has kind of been once I peel it back and then put it back down sometimes when I go to peel it back off it it sticks really hard in certain spots again um, but again that's a very very minor problem to have um, the drills have been working great so far and lining up in my tray really well and it's been going really quickly and really smoothly so very happy with how this has gone so far so once I get the sky done here and probably this dark color here I'm going to do as well then it will get a lot more time consuming trying to do this confetti heavy flower area but that's going to be a fun part to do so we'll get the sky done and then I will focus on the flowers all right checking in again so here we have all of the sky done I'm really happy with how that turned out isn't that pretty I love this section here it makes me really curious to know what this would look like on a smaller and larger scale. And since they do have a smaller and larger option, you know, I'm, I'm wondering what this looks like in, at those different size points. But um, so this part went really fast. I forgot to look up how long it took me, but I've only been working on this for a couple of days and a few hours. Um, I'll insert the number of hours here this part went pretty quickly because there was a lot of color blocking in here and as you could see from my last check-in I had this so that I could just peel down the layers of plastic and work all the way across and not have to switch out my colors and that helped make it go a lot quicker too because there's just huge long lines of color all through here so and I sort of did that in the top blue section as well, but not quite as much. There were a lot of color changes in here, um, but especially over in this section, I, I did that also. Now, though, that I'm into the sunflowers, it's going to take a little bit longer because this is more confetti. So I think I'm just going to do some chunks 
and kind of more stick to those lines that I create with my washi tape when uh, sectioning this off and getting it completed. So I am excited to start doing the flowers and seeing how those pop once I get the drills placed. Um, I forgot I was also going to point out that uh, the drills have really been pretty good. I've had small amounts of trash, but not a lot. They've shaken out in my tray really well. You can see there's a few in my trash drills tray here, but it's really not very much. The only types of trash I found are really me being incredibly picky, I think. I think that some of them I could lay and there wouldn't be a problem, but they just have a small itty bitty tab. Um, there's others that I pull out that are smaller or larger than the other drills. And so those I really want to pull out. So it looks nice when the, you know, so they're all the same when I lay them down. But other than that, it's, I mean, there's hardly anything. There's usually less problems with round drills than with square drills anyway, but, uh, really very, very little trash that I have been pulling out all along. I'll show you how much I collect at the end, but um, just wanted to point that part out here too. Uh, the plastic has been so great. This is so sticky. It's so easy to get all the drills to stick down. And um, yeah, I'm very pleased with the quality of the drills and the canvas and the plastic film. I think the plastic film right now is the only thing that is sort of frustrating me. It's just so thin um, and it can get really stuck onto the glue. So, and even after I peel it back one time and lightly lay it back, sometimes it can get really stuck and have a hard time coming back off. That's the only thing that is a little bit frustrating, but when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. Hardly worth mentioning, but at the same time, I'm giving you my 100% honest feedback. That's the thing that has crossed my mind, so I wanted to share it with you. So, okay, I'm going to get back to it, and next time I'll check in, I'll at least have some, if not all of the flowers done. So, talk to you in a little bit. And here she is. I am really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I will insert a picture here of the canvas in its entirety from overhead so that you can see what it actually looks like versus the angle that I have to have you at for filming right now. Um, but I am so pleased with this. It was such a fun project. It was so fast and so fun to complete. I really did enjoy it. I really needed a project like this to complete and I'm so happy that Art Dot sent this to me and it was just at the perfect time for me to kit it up and complete and I really did enjoy it. So like I talked about in my kitting up section of the video, the kitting up process was seamless. Um, I did check with Art Dot and the drills are acrylic so I'm not sure if that's maybe why there was no static but there was no static. I didn't run into any issues with static later on. I didn't run into any issues with the drills sticking together and not being able to get them apart or needing to get out my grinder or anything like that. So I had a wonderful experience with the drills. It was just a super, super easy kitting up process and I was very happy with it. All of the drills fit into their little vials, except for three that had extra colors. Um, and I did end up needing those, but I never ran out of any drills. So as you can see, they're all still in these little vials and I have extras of every single color. Uh, there were just a couple that I put washi on the bottom that had an extra bag that I kept in the back pocket of this, um, but yeah, it, it was great and seamless. Another thing that was really great about um, the kitting up process is their drills were linked together in DMC order. So it was really easy to find the color that you needed. So when I originally put down my stickers, they were all in DMC order. And then to make it easier to find them as I was actually completing the canvas, I put them in numerical order and then I put them in alphabetical order. So I have the numbers here and, and then I started with the alphabet here. And when I ran out of alphabet letters, I started using symbols and also had them grouped by 
color. So we have purples and then blues and greens and um, pinks and yeah, pinks and reds over there. Um, so that made it really easy for me to be able to find the symbol that I needed while I was working and not necessarily having to go in DMC order. What I'm trying to say is it made it really easy to kit up with the baggies already being in DMC order so that I could match them with the container. And then I just reorganized these so that it made sense and was super easy for me to find the container that I needed by having them in, in numerical and then alphabetical and symbol organization. That's my point. <laughs> I hope that that makes sense. Um, so I kitted this up on June 20th and that is also when I started working on it. Um, and I hardly had any trash. I usually don't pull out a lot of trash with uh, round drilled canvases, but this is all that I accumulated when I was working with this one. And I honestly think that I was also being extra picky. I think some of these probably would have been okay. There were just little pieces that kind of um, stuck off of the edges or made the drills slightly larger than the drills around them. But overall, they were really very, very good and there was not very much trash. Let me get a tray. So these were the trash drills that I found. So as you can see, there is some just random chunks here. Um, this purple one didn't flip over, but you can see that it has extra around it. Um, just some extra acrylicness to it, I guess. This one here, this orange one, you can see that there's just some extra plastic around it as well so that it wasn't perfectly the same size as the drills next to it. Uh, so it was only things like that that I was really pulling out or ones that maybe had little tiny tabs on them. Um, so this one has a small amount of extra plastic going around it as does this one here and then this one is kind of me being really picky you can see there is just a little bit of a tab on it there technically it probably could have gone on the canvas and not messed anything up but I went ahead and pulled it out this has a little dot on it as well um, so yeah sorry if that's a little bit shaky but that is the best that I can do so just trying to show you what the trash was so there were 40 colors on this canvas with three ABs. We had number 307, a yellow AB. Number 3747, a gray AB. And we had number 208, which is a purple AB on it as well. And I will show you where all of those went. So when we're looking for those ABs, we're going to start with the purple, which is number 208 and it is found mostly in the sky. So you can probably already see some of that extra glitter, but we have those ABs right here in this section of the sky, as well as over here, and in this part of the more confetti-ish part of the sky as well. We also have a few of the ABs on the top of the horizon. And that is where most of the purple ABs are. Then we have the gray AB, 3747. And this is also found in the sky. And it is found in the middle of the blue area here and just kind of going up into this area where this beautiful sunset and the clouds section is in the sky there. So that is where those gray ABs are found. And then finally, we have our yellow AB number 307. And we had quite a bit of this. And as you can probably guess, it is mostly, it is all within the sunflowers. So when you look at it up close, we see it highlighting the sunflowers and all of these areas just kind of on the edges wherever the light 
is supposed to be hitting onto the sunflowers and just giving it an extra nice shimmery glow. Really, really beautiful. So I started working on this on June 20th and I finished it on June 23rd. And, and so that means that I spent four days total working on it and it only took me about 16 and a half hours. The top section, especially um, up here in the sky went really quickly for me just because there was a lot of line blocking and color blocking in those areas. Um, and so that went really pretty fast and I actually didn't section off the sunflowers as much as I thought that I would. And there was so much of a couple of the colors in here that it went really fast as well. And I, I multi-place whenever I have the opportunity to do so and single place when I need to. The fabric is so soft. It was really nice to work with. The glue was incredibly sticky. Sometimes I had a, a bit of issues with the plastic being a little too sticky um, and having a hard time pulling that plastic back off but I would much rather have the glue be too sticky than not sticky enough um, so the canvas was great the drills were great it was such a fun canvas for me to complete and for me to just be able to have something fun and bright and colorful and vibrant to work on I really really did enjoy it Thank you again, Art Dot, for sending me this to complete. I needed this. I really, really did. So thank you very much. And um, Art Dot has a few different options out there on their website for different diamond paintings, and their diamond paintings are licensed, and they are not incredibly expensive. So if you are someone who wants to support licensed artists and you are someone who um, is also on a budget or maybe you just like their art whatever the reason is please go check out art dot because they have some really beautiful images they're licensed and you can get different sizes um, for different prices so whatever your price point is art dot likely has something that will work for you and they are always working on creating new things and coming out with new ideas and new products so keep checking back because um, right now everything is in round but that doesn't mean that they might not create some square drill canvases in the future and that they could be adding new uh, designs in the future as well. So super, super happy with this. Thank you again, Art Dot, for sending it to me. Thank you everybody for um, watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how this piece came together as well as my review of the work. I am really, really happy with this. And I can't remember if I mentioned it or not. So before I leave, just in case, there were 21,948 drills on this canvas. Okay, that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a like. If you would like to see more of my content as I create it, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.